So let's talk about a bit uh, about different post gear rubber. This is a original Christ post gear band. What is this? Let's have a look. It's about it's about thirteen millimeter, I think, out of diameter. And this is a pretty tough rubber. Um, on a heavier spear, you need such a tough rubber to get the spear to speed, and this causes a lot of stress on your hand. So. What you see here is the resting hook and what I like to do is um, tie a loop over here. And this loop is basically just to connect it to my float line. I will clip in my shark clip to this loop here. And this piece of rubber is just to keep the, the loop in place directly over the resting hook this way my shark clip is hanging a slight bit down under my hand and so I won't get disturbed from the sharky this here lies over my thumb and I have control over the resting hook pulling it to have the tension on the rubber and I'm ready for shooting. But let's talk um, about the rubber. So with such a tight rubber like this I even you can even break a post beer. I did um, the glued in connectors bro broke. They simply broke and split it off my body. So it's very important to have um, uh, the right diameter and uh, the right strength rubber for your post spear. As mentioned, this is a pretty tough rubber. So um, yeah, start from uh, um, a weak rubber and get your way up to a, a power level. You think this is the right level for you. You can even shoot bigger rubber on post spears by twisting them around the body of the post spear while pulling it but um, don't forget it that's what happened to me and off it was so let's have a look the alter for alternatives um, I like dipped rubber this year as you can see nearly the same diameter this is a SK L Z training cable and this rubber stip it has basically the same characteristics as the original crisp rubber also for for stiff heavy post spears this is a good band um, this is the third rubber they have in their line the first is the yellow one this is very weak this is more for children for very light post spears for let's say a small line fish post spear this this would um this would be sufficient but for normal for normal use on an, on an aider offshore post spear i didn't i wouldn't use this the next band i've already showed you in the sklz line is the orange one and then they have this super tough one but that's already something I would say it's too big for a new for a usual port spear. This is about 14 millimeter diameter. I would say if you make a roller post spear or something like that um, you could give it a try but I would suggest you first try out the orange one. And furthermore what you often see is the acid green this is a non-dipped rubber and the no-name cables um, yeah this is this one is also more for a tough spear so for roller projects 
This is a no-name, pretty stretchy. This is nut dipped, and the nut dipped rubbers are uh, they they tend to to get brittle after a few years, after one or two years. It's very important to to rinse them when you're home and with fresh water. Stuff them in a in the cooler. Some people stuff them in the cooler. I do not. I keep them away from sunlight and from uh, and I. Yeah, it's basically enough for me. And I wanted something between this power and the usual post beer power. And I found this one here. This is a dipped quality. I don't know the brand anymore. I think it was like Sports America or something. And this is pretty much in between. Very, very stretchy. I like it. Um, because it's dipped, it lasts longer. I like the color. The in inner diameter is a bit larger. That doesn't matter. Um, they're basically, they basically have the same characteristics. And those training cables, oftentimes you get a, a description on eBay, and they say, um, for example. This color is 10 pound or kilogram and the next color is um, 5 kilogram more, something like that. So look around 16 kilogram, 18 kilogram, dipped quality like this. Usually this is fine pole spear rubber and you don't even have to use a resting hook the whole time depending on your technique. Personally, I like to use a resting hook on all of, of my spears. It's just a comfort. And I'm doing a lot less motion to spook some fish. Uh, because um, the, the motion to... Uh, where is it here? The motion to get the spear in a fully loaded position is very small. Yeah, that's basically it.